It's time to make a paintball rocket launcher. Long, light, anti-armor weapon. Just about all the parts you need to make this paintball rocket launcher you can find at your local home improvement store or plumbing store, except for one piece. This 12 gram CO2 quick change adapter allows you to add a CO2 cartridge to just about anything with half inch threads. You're also going to need some PVC sealant and cement and some plumber's Teflon tape. The only thing you're going to use the PVC primer and cement for is to attach the 2 inch cap to the 16 inch piece of PVC pipe, which is the barrel. Apply a coat of primer to both pieces and let it dry, and then apply the PVC cement to both pieces and attach the cap to the PVC pipe, and then give it a twist. The remaining parts are all threaded together, and you're going to use that plumber's Teflon tape on all of the threads. This will help prevent any air leaks. Be generous with the Teflon tape and start putting all the steel pieces together. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on every single piece, because there's detailed instructions on how to build a paintball rocket launcher on KipK.com. The ball valve is going to act as our trigger, and as you can see in the closed position, it's going to prevent any air from getting through. When you open it, the air will rush through the ball valve. Make sure all of these connections are as tight as possible using a pair of wrenches or a wrench and a vise. When the steel assembly portion of the paintball rocket launcher is finished, it should look like this. Now it's time to attach the steel assembly to our PVC pipe, and we need to drill a hole about 4 inches from the end of our capped end of the PVC pipe. I slowly increased the size of the bits to make the hole large, and then used a large grinding stone drill bit to get the hole just smaller than the half inch thread on the 90 degree elbow. Some black silicone sealant was used on the threads, and then I slowly threaded the steel assembly into the PVC barrel. After letting it set, my paintball rocket launcher was finished, but now it's time to paint it. I wanted to do a camo job, so using a leaf as a template, I used three different colors of camo paint, and I think it turned out pretty good. Now it's time to test it out. After making sure the ball valve was in the closed position, I added my ammo, a little Nerf football. That just gets pushed into the barrel all the way to the bottom. Then I grabbed a standard CO2 cartridge. These are the 12 gram cartridges, and they're less than a buck a piece. That gets put into the quick change adapter, and the adapter is then screwed in place. Now once you screw it all the way down, it'll pressurize the CO2 cartridge, and you're armed and ready. Pushing the handle forward, launches our rocket. I got about 150 yards with a Nerf Vortex football. Now here's the optional barrel adapter you can make that will actually shoot paintballs. It's just four PVC pieces cemented together that creates a new 3 quarter inch paintball barrel. You'll want to put a screw at the very bottom of the barrel to keep the paintballs from falling out. Load it up and fire away. And that's how to make a paintball rocket launcher. Now, if you missed my tripwire bang alarm, go to KipK.com and check it out. It works great with paintball or airsoft wars. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.